Hey everybody, today we're going to be talking about one of the favorite fish we have here in the fish room, the Certicara morii, commonly known as the blue dolphin cichlid, also known as the humphead cichlid, and I bet you can tell why. Both names are very descriptive, and both fit this fish very well. The blue dolphin is an African cichlid. Specifically, it's from Lake Malawi, one of the great rift lakes of eastern Africa. Today I'm going to tell you how we keep our blue dolphins successfully here in the fish room and hopefully show you enough cool footage to inspire you to go out and pick some up for yourself. Let's start off with the basics. We keep this fish in very hard water with a very high pH in the range of 8.2 or even up to 8.4 at times with the temperature anywhere from 75 to 78 degrees Fahrenheit. And they have absolutely thrived in these conditions. Now those water parameters are pretty consistent with most advice you'll find elsewhere on this species. But we're not doing anything special to hit those parameters. That's just how our water is naturally. So I can't really speak from experience as to how these fish would do in different conditions. For example, softer water though I have read and seen from many sources that they can indeed handle a wide range of parameters. To me, the most important factor to consider when keeping this fish is the tank size. These fish get big. The males here are about nine to nine and a half inches. The females, here's one, get to be more about six inches. But those males get hefty and they move lightning fast. I've seen them bolt from one end to the other of this nine foot tank in no time. And that's not some uncommon occurrence. They are very active swimmers and will make it a habit of darting around your tank as much as they can. Now, I'm not saying you need a nine foot tank. You can keep these fish in your standard 125 gallon, a six foot tank. And that's only for full grown adults. You can keep them in smaller tanks and graduate them up as they grow. And this species grows pretty slowly relative to other cichlids you might keep. At the end of the day, I would recommend a maximum of 8, maybe 10 blue dolphin cichlids for a 125 gallon. One of my favorite things about this species is how the females look so great. With Malawi and cichlids, you typically find that only the males look good. But here, the females are just as brilliantly colored. Granted, they grow a little smaller, and sometimes you can still see their black spots. But even so, I think that is an amazing looking fish right there. And on that note, if you buy younger specimens of this fish, you'll find that they all have black spots. But with the males, that will fade as they get older. What doesn't fade is their temper. These fish get mean. They are especially hostile to each other, though they can bully other species as well. But on the bright side, the females can stick up for themselves just fine. With many African cichlid species, you sometimes have to worry about the males hurting the females to the point of killing them. But with this fish, you generally don't have to worry as much. We actually have two females with five males. That's not a ratio that I would recommend. It just kind of happened for us but those two females do just fine. Well guys, that'll about do us for today. I really hope you've enjoyed checking out the Blue Dolphin Cichlid with me, and I hope you consider keeping this amazing fish sometime in the future. It is so worth it. I'm going to sound off with the usual call out to hit that subscribe button if you've enjoyed what you've seen. And if you have any questions or feedback, drop it in the comments below. I would love to hear what you guys have to say. And hey, stick around for more awesome videos we'll be putting out in the future. There is so much more to see. <laughs>